Welcome to my Sideboard Diaries, your ultimate guide to digital experience excellence. I am your host Jitendra Ghanekar. I am a Sideboard Technology MVP 2024. Today we are starting new series for which I got lot of comments to start this series. So today's topic is introduction to Sideboard SXA. So if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update. So what's inside in this video? First of all, we will see what is SXA. Then why we, this product is called as an accelerator that we will see. We will see what is the, the SXA website development process. We are going to see a difference between Sidecore SXA and Sidecore MVC. And at the end, we will see when to use SXA and when not to use SXA. So before moving today's content, please spend few seconds to click on a like button and provide your comment. Do share this video uh, with others. All right, let us start. Introduction of Sidecore SXA. Sidecore Experience Accelerator, that is SXA. What is SXA? SXA stands for Sidecore Experience Accelerator. It is a development approach that enables development teams to rapidly build websites and reuse templates, components and layout across the multiple sites. So this is basically a framework which is provided by the site code to speed up the development by providing the free built templates, components, layout and you can also manage the multiple sites in a single website. So that is uh, SXA. It separate design from development, allowing content designer Contain authors and developers to work side by side to develop and deploy multiple websites. So SXA provide a complete separation of a work. So your development team can work separately, your front end team can work separately, your authors can work separately. So they can work parallelly and then we can integrate it. So that is the advantage which Sidecore SXA provides. The latest version of Sidecore Experience Accelerator is 10.3.0. SXA the website development process. So how does SXA develop, development work? You must have seen this diagram many times. So SXA development process, as I said, the your user experience team, your visual designing team, your front-end development team, your back-end developer team, and your content creation team can work parallel. There is no uh, what's a waterfall model yet. You can, they both can work. They, all the teams can in fact work separately. And then you can integrate different work streams to run in parallel. It, it because of which it time to market is faster. Okay, so if you see the user experience, it's not like you finish the user experience and then start the visual design. Uh, you can work parallel. You, your front-end developer and back-end developer can work parallel. Your content creators and front-end developer can work parallel. So it's a parallel development which is happening. So all the different teams are working in parallel. So that saves the time. So this is the reason why uh, it, it becomes uh, faster to the market. Okay, so this is SXA website development process. This is a standard diagram which we will see everywhere for the SXA. This is one of the one of the reason why SXA uh, uh, websites are faster to the market. Why it is called accelerator? Why the site code SXA is called accelerator? If this question might ask in the interview, so just answering this question. It provides a pre-built templates, components, and layout. So you you once you install the site, you will get automatically a required pre-built templates, components, and layouts. Easily customize and reuse across the multiple sites. So you can easily customize it and reuse across multiple sites. So accelerator basically used for if you are having a 
multiple small small sites then you can use the accelerator quickly assemble website by dragging and dropping so as you see in first feature only it has a pre-built templates components and layout okay and that can be just drag and drop on the page and to develop the website so it is a quick assemble of a website and this topic the last one we already discussed that front-end designer content authors and developers to work side by side so they uh, work side by side so what does it result for because of this four point is that reducing the time and efforts required to build and maintain the website so due to all this functionality all these features the the, uh, the designing a website in sxa uh, uh, reduces the time and efforts okay so that's the reason it's called as an accelerator we will now see the difference between site core sxa versus site core mvc so sxa versus mvc development approach sxa emphasizes on reusable components and predefined layouts speeding up a development time SXA basically built on the PowerShell, okay, so it, it has a reusable components and predefined uh, layouts, okay, which speed up the development time. So that is the development approach we follow in the SXA. MVC, MVC utilize the MVC architectural pattern for building custom solution and rendering logic. So it builds the custom solution and the rendering logic is completely built in the MVC, whereas SXA it has a pre-built layouts and the components. Templating system. It utilizes the pre built page design reusable components called rendering variants. There is something called rendering variants. Okay. So it uses those rendering variables and pre built page designs to develop the SXA or develop the templates of the SXA. MVC requires the developers to create the templates, layouts, and rendering manual. You have to manually create all the renderings, whereas SXA has a pre built pair page designs and reusable component which you can choose to create a templates. Page editing. It provides a drag and drop functionality. MVC doesn't have a drag and drop functionality. Customization. SXA is built for a small uh, uh, website where you have a less uh, customization. So limited customization option. Whereas MVC offers unlimited, uh, unlimited customization possibilities. When we talk about the learning curve, SXA is a low learning curve, whereas MVC is a steeper learning curve. You should be knowing very well the .NET and other concept of the side curve, whereas SXA you can quickly learn this uh, SXA. Time to market, obviously it is a faster, that's how it is, it is sales, so SXA is a time, uh, faster time to market, time to market is a little longer. And when you talk about the scalability, as I said, the SXA has SXA product is used for a smaller or a medium sized projects with a moderate scalability whereas the MVC can be used for any size of a project uh, providing the scalability option to accommodate the growing needs. So this is the difference between SXA and MVC. So whenever you want to choose the, your correct uh, uh, framework you can think about these parameters and I have already done one uh, video where I explain how you can choose the right framework. You can refer to that that video also for uh, SXA uh, to select the correct framework between SX, uh, uh, SXA and the MVC. So when to use SXA? Ideally there is not a thumb rule that when you have this kind of a project you should use SXA. Okay. Uh, as I said just now that I have already done one video I will give that link on the top i button or also in the description where I have I have explained that how you can select the correct framework uh, you know, whether you can use a site for SXA, site for MDC or site for JSS so that uh, logic that uh, that that comparative study you should have been built but at high level when you will you should think to use SXA or you will give more you will move more towards the SXA so those high level points we will see the first is a multi-site management so Sitecore SXA allows developers to easily create and manage multiple websites within a single Sitecore instance so 
only one instance you can manage a multiple website so in 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 your requirement if you have the uh, requirement where you have to manage many small small website then multi site where you have multi site management then the sxa is a good option reusable component sxa comes with a library of a pre built components such as a headers footers carousel and contain doc developers can leverage this component to rapidly assemble pages reducing the development time and effort if you do not want to spend lot of time and efforts into the uh, developing the new components and you can you can survive with the default punch default uh, uh, templates or a default components default feature which is provided by the sx and you can use those uh, uh, you you can do use those out of box reusable component easily and manage your website then you can think about the sx but if you're thinking of a customization maybe the sx is not a good option localization support so sx provides built-in support for contain localization allowing contain authors to create and manage multi multilingual content so you have a multi-site man multi-site as well as those multi-site you have a multiple uh, uh, languages also okay so in that case you can think about sx cross-site consistency the site core sxa ensures consistency in branding and user experience across all sites centralized management of templates theme and components facilities brand governance and ensures cohesive digital presence what do you mean by cross-site consistency in simple language if you have the uh, multiple website or a multiple brands okay under one uh, one company you have a multiple brand so you want to have the unique uh, uh, what is a unique uh, uh, themes across those brands as well as there should be consistency in those branding in that case you can utilize the sxa as sxa provides a theme based to websites okay so you can utilize that so you want a, a consistent branding and a user experience across your multiple website you are having four five website and you want the same kind of a consistency in branding and the user experience then the uh, that is called as a cross-site consistency and for that you will have a sxa is a good option drag and drop page for editing Content authors can leverage the edited uh, drag and drop interface of site for SXA to quickly modify pages, layouts, and new components and uh, complete the content without relying on the developers. So it's basically drag and drop. There might be a many content user who, who is using WordPress or maybe any other uh, CMS where you will have you have a drag and drop function. They are used to do that. Okay, and your websites are very small. They can you can utilize the out of box default. Uh, components then your content editor are more uh, happy to use drag and drop of right right so they, they do not have to depend on the developers to do it so in that case you can use the sx okay if you think the drag and drop functionality will help you uh, then the sx is a good option responsive design SXA incorporates a responsive design principle ensuring that websites are optimized for various device and screen sizes this is a crucial for reaching a diverse audience across the different regions and devices. So nowadays the responsive design is must for you whether you are using MVC or yesterday, JSS or any other technology. Responsive design is must. So SXA also provides that flexibility and responsive. Uh, SXA is built on responsive design. So you can think about SXA. So these are the six points which you should you should consider if you are wanting to work with the uh, SXA. So, in last slide, we have seen that what are the things which which you have in your requirement that you should look for as SXA. That in this slide, we will see what are the things, what are the requirements which you will have in the your requirement that you, you should avoid to use as SXA. Okay. So, first thing is highly customized requirements. So, so, if you if you observe that your requirement whatever the project requirement you have it has a lot of customization requirement then sxa is not a right choice for your uh, requirement complex integration if you have a lot of third party integration then i think site for mvc might be the good option again these are the very high level as, as i said before that you need to do a comparative study and you should consider all these points in those studies
then large scale enterprise solutions so when we compare Sitecore core sx and mc we have seen that Sitecore core sx is a good solution for the low or mid level uh, projects okay so if you have a large scale enterprise solution then you should look for Sitecore core jss or our site core mc legacy system integration site core is sx is not a good choice for legacy system integration a unique design requirement your requirement is something unique then sx may not be a good choice because sx when you are trying to use the sx the main reason why you use the sx is it's a pre-built it has a pre-built uh, components layouts renderings okay so those are the default ones but you have a something different requirement you have a unique requirement that standard or a default uh, requirements then you might need a more customization more integration so that's the reason unique design requirements site for sx is not a good choice all right we have done the first video of the sx many people are asking for this so let me know uh, this is just an introduction so let me know how it is and give me your feedback we will cover many more things in the uh, sx so in next video we will go we'll actually uh, we will go into the tenants uh, the sites and how how sx is built so basically uh, how you can build a site that we will we will go into that and maybe i will try to show your demo also that how it, it looks like actually in the sxa so that will be in the next part okay uh, so till now uh, if you like this video the content which today we had then please uh, share this video please click on a like button to share this video with your friends and colleagues and till now if you have not subscribed to the channel I will request you to consider subscribing this video. Click on that book, that notification bell to get a latest update. So I will I will look forward for your response on this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.